All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Mortgage Coach Tuesday interview. Every Tuesday, 9 o'clock, we are here to inspire you, hopefully share some ideas and strategies that help you go to the next level, whatever your next level is. And in today's market, everybody is so busy. Uh, we just want to teach you the skills to not only thrive in today's market, but make sure that you're going to kill it in 2021 20, and beyond. So today I have a special guest who also happens to be a a good personal friend who I've known for more than a decade. Cindy, has it been two decades? I mean, it seems like I've known I you for my, ask no day, I hate life. to say it, but we've hit the two decade mark, my friend. <laughs> yeah, wow, wow. Well, Cindy Ertman is a special friend of mine. She's also an icon in the mortgage industry. Uh, for anyone who's new to the business, you don't know her. Not only was she a incredibly successful loan officer, she is still a team leader. She's still doing monster production. She's doing a lot of training, a lot of coaching, and she has some ideas today that are going to help us build relationships, create relationships, and grow relationships during this virtual time. Before I bring her on stage, I did an interview with her. I don't, Cindy, how long ago was it that we did the seven strategies interview? Was it two years? It might have even been three years now, Dave. Yeah, I, I, think, I think you're right. It was called Seven Steps to Seven Figure Success. And it has almost been viewed over 10,000 times. So Cindy is consistently one of the top female leaders in the mortgage industry. And as far as I'm concerned, one of the top leaders in the mortgage industry. Uh, Cindy, welcome to the Mortgage Coach community. Dave, honestly, it is you know, always such a pleasure to be here. It's been a while since I've been here with you. So I was actually very excited for today because you have just built such an incredible community. And I find myself, I was on the phone with a new client yesterday and every single time I'm on the phone with a mortgage originator, I find myself asking if they're part of this community. And it's amazing when people say no, I'm like, are you crazy? But we make sure they're part of this community. So just you've done so much for our industry, Dave, and I just so appreciate you. And it's an honor to be here. Wow, thank you, Cindy. Well, it's people like you who are active in this community that make it such an amazing community. And we do have a lot of incredible active leaders in the community. So, so I know you coach a lot of loan officers. I know you're still killing it with your own team, just because there are a lot of new people coming to the business. So it is possible someone's new into the industry and it's the first time they're hearing you speak. Why don't you just give us a little bit of backstory and then we'll get into today's topic. Okay, great. No, that'd be fantastic. So I think it's 32 years now that I've been in the mortgage industry and, you know, just fortunately had amazing mentors and coaches and leaders that I, that I met early on. And I really decided that I didn't need to reinvent success. I really just wanted to learn from the best. And, you know, I would go to every mortgage conference with an intention to meet one key person and I would still remember when I went to a mortgage conference to meet Dave Savage. So it was really kind of cool. My whole business has been very intentional. So I think it's probably why I coached today. But anyway, I went on to become one of the top 100 originators in the U.S. for more than a decade. Um, built a great team. Uh, managed a branch here in Manhattan Beach, California for 20 years. I remember at our highlight, we had 65 people as managing 32 LOs and being the top producer in the branch personally. My partner and I closed down our own little mortgage bank in 2007 for obvious reasons and plugged into RPM Mortgage. We were looking for a California-based um, lender and plugged into RPM. And then went on to build, uh, we went on to build Southern California for them from one to 20 branches over the next 10 years. So, but my passion for so many years has been coaching, teaching, and training people how to really take that next step. And as a leader, you know, growth was like, kind of like my number one thing. And I was on the faculty of Loan Toolbox for 17 years, teaching, training, speaking um, under that platform. So seven years ago, I took the big leap, resigned from all my big mucky muck roles um, as an executive leader and started my own coaching and training company. I still have a team that I refer all my past clients to. I still meet with realtors. I love kind of staying relevant and, and you know, hearing what the challenges are of the day from the real estate perspective as well. But I love what I do and I get to wake up every morning and help people really take their business and their life to the next level. I, I love it. So, so anybody who's watched this, if you're like a brand new loan officer, you are getting ready to learn from someone that has achieved the ultimate success in this business and has mentored a lot of folks. And you need to take notes 
You need to also follow her at her website. We'll share more in a little bit how you can connect with Cindy. But also, if you're that originator that like, hey, you've hit that glass ceiling of 100 loans a year or 200 loans a year, and you want to you wanna get to the next level, Cindy has not only done that, but she has helped lots of big teams go to whatever that next level is. So uh, I think it's going to be a very important call. I hope you guys are paying attention. Remember, this is a mastermind mortgage coach community. This is broadcasted live in Facebook right now. So if you want to ask Cindy or myself a question, post that in comments. For those of you that are watching in Zoom, you can also post questions and comments. So Cindy, let's, let's get after it. I mean, it's a virtual world. The loan officers I'm interviewing are saying that, hey, yes, there's going to be a post-COVID and we will meet with people again, but virtual is here to stay. Like I love how, I mean, I, I want to see some of my clients and I want, I don't want to be completely confined, but I also hear people say, I'm not going back. I mean, I'm going to always be, oh, can we talk on the phone? Can we meet on Zoom or should we meet in person? That's, that's going forward. So without question, our, our world has changed forever. And I think that's the thing is watching people that have really adapted that. And look, myself too. I mean, I woke up on April 1st going, oh my gosh, like, what do I do now? You know, like, what do I do now? I lead live retreats. You know, my whole industry has to change in terms of as a coach and as a leader. So, you know, it's like anything else. We know that constant change is here forever. So now it's a matter of how do we adapt to it? How do we embrace it? And how do we use it to our advantage? Because through every challenge comes opportunity. And for those that are really willing to look at the world a little bit differently, create a different level of value. Um, I don't know. I you know, I bore easily, so I wanted to reinvent myself every year anyway. This one just prompted, you know, a second, you know, second phase 2.0 earlier in the year than anticipated. So, but I agree with you, Dave, it is very much a new world. And I think we've got to learn to adapt. And, you know, what I'm hearing from so many of my clients right now is one of, my, one of the guys I was talking to last week, he said, I'm embarrassed to admit that 78% of my pipeline right now is refinance. And he said, I'm not stupid. You know, I know this thicket is going to turn off one day soon and I'm not doing what I need to do to focus on my purchase business to have sustainable success. And I'm hearing it a lot from people. And I know it's so difficult because there's just so much business. It's hard to really take time to time block and work on building a purchase pipeline. But I do think we have to prepare for a, the market ahead because being in it so long, I can tell you numerous stories. Many come to mind of that one day, you know, boom, the market I've never forgotten locking a $1.4 million loan and the next day rates went up one and a half percent in one day. And that guy told me to this day, I saved him $350,000 on his mortgage because we timed the market right. And we got very fortunate, but it's very real. We've got to prepare for that. So that's kind of what this whole presentation, Dave, is about. Well, let's, so I'm gonna, let's get into it. Let's get I'm gonna into jump over thought. here to my... PowerPoint and you can make sure that you can see the screen here. We, we see it guys. So don't multitask, put your mobile phone down. If you're looking at two screens, let's look at one and let's give Cindy our attention and let's, let's learn. Let's rock. Right, and I am going to refer to my notes, Dave, because I came prepared and there's a lot of things that I want to miss. So just know I'm I'm, I'm present with you, but I want to be able to share some notes that I took. So we're going to talk today about a few different things, but this really is how to, you know, elevate your brand, elevate your relationships in a virtual world, because we know it's here to stay. And there's some simple things you can do to really take it to the next level. And we kind of got to get over some of our fear around video and being on camera, because, you know, for those of us that weren't utilizing it, you know, there's no excuses anymore as far as I'm concerned. So it really is a great way to be able to communicate with our clients. And I think there's just incredible opportunities right in front of us. And honestly, I can tell because I'm doing it personally, it's also really fun. It's been really fun to create new ways to create value in people's lives through virtual strategies. So, you know, I think one is we're going to look at best practices to, you know, leverage video, obviously, like because we've got it, we got to think a little bit differently right now about how we actually utilize video and what we're doing to you know, prepare for the videos that we're doing. Two, we're gonna talk about creating a virtual referral partner mastermind. 
I've got several clients that are adopting this theory. You can use it as lunch and learns. I mean, honestly, I've done it personally. It's super fun. It's actually so easy. And I am going to provide um, your community, Dave, with a handout that we put together with some suggestions as to very specific how to so that no one has to reinvent the wheel here. Um, it's working really effectively. Two of my clients are doing it right now and they're just killing it. And they're actually getting communication from realtors saying, hey, I hear you're leading a mastermind. I'd love to be able to join that mastermind. Um, and then this is a strategy I've probably shared over the years before, how to execute a top five realtor referral partner program. But it's so valuable. It's been updated and tweaked a little bit, but I'm also gonna give you that as a handout, as a guide, because I think it's gonna really help people build new partnership. And it doesn't take a lot of time to do it. So that's what I really wanna focus on today is to really help you begin to focus on purchase business and prepare for that next market ahead. Because I am seeing a lot of you know the up and down. I mean, people are having killer months and then the team is focused on getting all the loans through the pipeline, obviously, and then the dip. And then it comes back up in the dip. So what we're looking for is strategies that keep us in the game and we create consistency in our business. So I wanna really talk about you know, what it looks like to prepare for the market ahead. So I wanna to talk today about some very specific strategies that can help you do that. And these are not things that I just teach. These are things that to this day, I still integrate. I had a meeting with a realtor on Zoom last week. I'm gonna share exactly how I conducted that meeting. We had a blast and her final question to me was, when can we do this again? Like she already wanted to schedule the next meeting. So that's why I wanna give you some very specific strategies. So just to have you really understand that, you know, success is your choice right now. Clearly most of you are killing it. I mean, half my clients have doubled their production in 2020. So, I mean, obviously, you know, most people are just having record years that you could have never prepared for, you know, right? And I had one of those years in 2003. This is so indicative of that year. Unfortunately, I had the right team in place and I hit 200 million in 2003. So many of you are just having unbelievable years. So we've got a lot to be thankful for, clearly. But I really wanted to do this webinar today just to help you get intentional about the next step. So most of the things I teach are simple because if they're not simple, you know, you won't do them. So I want to talk first to, let's really address some of the challenges. And I, I just literally took notes from my coaching calls about some of the challenges that people are facing today in the mortgage industry. And I'm sure, you know, maybe throw into the chat if you're on Zoom, but obviously the industry is over capacity. And if you're working for a company that has not had capacity issues, then I can assure you, you're probably the only one in America. So consider yourself very fortunate. But when you've got five trillion of mortgages that you know, have the capacity to be, to be refinanced and we've only got 2.5 trillion in operational capacity nationally, clearly there's gonna be a problem. And so it's created so much stress and exhaustion and overwhelm for not only loan originators, but your teams, for underwriters, for processing. You know, everyone's just busting at the seams and it's really been a difficult year from that perspective. So how to manage your team and keep them focused is a big part of what's going on today too in a virtual world. Staying focused and alleviating anxiety. I cannot tell you in my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls when I'm going very deep with people, everything looks cool on the outside, but underneath they're dealing with a lot as you all are and some things that, you know, it's not just about, you know, managing the business, but there's so many leads coming in right now, trying to manage and track leads. I hear it almost daily, really been a problem. They're letting leads just fall through the cracks because they don't have a great system for lead management. Many are working from home with kids and if they're not, their processors are, their underwriters are. Um, oh my gosh, they're just the stories I'm hearing are unbelievable about how taxed processors and underwriters and support team and LOAs are. Um, look, I mean, spending too much time with your spouse or your significant other, I'm hearing that a lot is like, okay, way too much together time with the family. That's just reality, you know, it's, it's the world we're in right now. You know, the difficulty in connecting with referral partners virtually, how to do that and are you taking the time to do it and do you feel comfortable doing it? So we're gonna get you over that hump today. Obviously health fears, lots of people view this crisis in a different way, fear of uncertainty about the future, Managing your teams, you know, in, whether you're in person or whether you're virtual, 
it's a really big deal right now to keep people connected, keep people committed to a vision, and really keeping them inspired when, you know, because we all need human interaction. That's just how we're wired. So, you know, maybe you're not doing the greatest job of really keeping the team connected, which is so critical. Dealing with operational challenges and managing client expectations, obviously, are some of the biggest challenges today without question, as you all know. And I'm sure you're looking at this going, yeah, I, I got five of those going on in my own life right now. So I just love this quote, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. And that's why I think we have such an opportunity. It's like, how do you wanna show up right now? You know, and look, I'm, I'm talking, I coach several national mortgage leaders and I can tell you in those calls, it's talking about how difficult it is to manage loan officers' expectations right now. And some are just coming off the rails because they can't handle their volume. Things aren't going as planned. The clients are upset, realtors upset. So my, you know, managing expectations obviously has become a big part of this as well. So let's talk about elevating your virtual brand. And I think, I mean, to me, it's actually a very fun topic, but our world has completely and utterly changed. So we have to look at this a little bit differently. Look, I mean, I remember decorating my office for many years as an originator because for years, you know, loan officer or our clients came to us and we took their, you know, application live and in person. So it was always about making my office look great and inviting and all that. Well, look, it's changed, right? So now how do we make that first impression? It's more difficult today to make that great first impression, but to focus on building trust and relationships, you wanna call, come to the call, first of all, informed, and you wanna show up as the expert that you are. You wanna really own your expertise. So a lot of when I'm coaching, I get people very focused on what their genuine strengths are. So think about, what your three greatest strengths are, both for your, you and your company, so that you really can speak to what you bring to the party and what your value proposition is for the people you're talking to. You know, I know Stacia Weishauer, who's a client of mine for several years now, and we, in fact, Dave, we did an interview with you on Mortgage Coach, and, you know, her big thing is get clear on your why, and she is so clear on her why that when she delivers every conversation whether she's on Zoom, whether she's on a phone call, whether she's with a realtor or a new client, she starts with her why and she swears that's her number one value proposition for getting people to say yes to her. But let's talk about, you gotta set up your reverse office. And look, we've all done it. How many times have you been on like a Zoom call or a video conference and you're looking, look, we're looking at everybody around us. There's no question. And I have to laugh, if you look at the picture on the bottom, this is a woman that's actually in my coaching program and Christine is great. She's awesome. And she has, um, well, I think I've got Waste Up Wardrobe and wasteupwardrobe.com. Now talk about someone who had a pivot. She was a stylist that was meeting everybody face to face. And so her whole thing now is helping professionals look great from the waist up. But who knew that was going to be a business? And she's killing it. So it's really fun because here she is in her pajamas and her slippers, you know, down below as most of us are. I don't have my pajamas on today though, actually, Dave, I actually dressed up for you. But anyway, <laughs> it's kind of a cool thing. Like we have to do things a little bit differently now. So really thinking about what your reverse office looks like. I was actually so grateful about four months before COVID hit, I cleaned out my son's bedroom who had moved out permanently um, and moved off to your neck of the woods, Dave, to go to law school and turned it into an office and actually had custom furniture built behind me to get a look that I wanted to be decent on camera. So really think about what it is behind you because people are looking and paying attention. And we were just talking about getting the lighting right. I'm still kind of working on that. Um, I'm going to bring in an expert to help me just so that I've got, I've got good lighting, but I want to have great lighting. So it's time for us to invest a little bit in our space and how we're coming across to others. Um, I have a newer ring light kit. It's $105. I do have a big external blue Yeti, you know, microphone that I use on my desk. So I have great sound quality, but just super important to start to pay attention to that. You know, so and then you, go ahead. Oh, before we go off, well, when you finish the slide, let me jump in and put some color on a few things. Well, jump in, because I'm finished with the slide. So let's have you jump in. 
God, there was a lot to unpack on that. So, so guys, I'm going to be announcing an event next week with Todd Bookspan um, called the Modern Mortgage Summit. And as I was designing, as we were designing the curriculum, always people, when, when you say modern mortgage originator, people always say technology, they use technology. And by the way, that's true. But one of the things that's so important that Cindy made is they're purpose driven. And not only are they clear on their purpose and it's documented and they understand it, but like Stacia, he called out, they know how to integrate that into their sales value proposition. So if, if you aspire to be a modern mortgage professional and you don't have your, you know, have your, your why documented, if it's not integrated into your sales conversation, you're not a modern mortgage originator. That's traditional old school loan officer. I have great rates. I close your loan on time. I know programs. Modern is purpose driven and they use technology. So I wanted to cover that. Uh, number two, when you think of everything that she unpacked here, I, I want you to start thinking of your home office as your studio. It's your business studio to deliver an amazing virtual experience. And you really need to make a decision. Good, the difference between bad and good, it's easy. Like if you're not on camera and you're not using Zoom and you're not doing video and you're not connecting, that's bad. If, if you're doing it and you're not putting a lot of intention on your background, your lighting, your camera, it's good. Uh, but there's a level of great. And some of you may have noticed, I think this is the second or third time I've, I've upgraded what I'm doing. I've got different lighting. I've got a better camera. I have a new mic. Now, this is a several thousand dollar investment. I hired Rene Rodriguez's consultant, Ryan Grams, to like put together a several thousand dollar studio. But you could do it for a hundred dollars. You could do it for a couple thousand. But you need to make an intentional decision on that, guys. So, Cindy, you're, you're killing it. This is a great um, message to everybody. I hope you're making some personal notes on this and you're, 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 you're documenting, like, am I a modern mortgage producer? And if I'm not, what do I need to do to fill it in? And, and am I, am I, do I want to play the, the good, great, or the wow game with my virtual studio? Be intentional. And that's the thing with Cindy Ertman. You'll always know she's just super intentional about everything she does. So keep it going. I just wanted to unpack a few of those things and make sure no one missed it. Thanks, Dave. No, that's great. And, you know, one of the other things that I, I want to address here, because it is key. I mean, I had a conversation yesterday with one of my clients in Colorado. It wasn't you, Tim, so don't worry. Um, but anyway, really talking about the fear of being on video and even great originators have fear around it. And there's a lot of things I want clients to be doing right now. And some of them are just having a really hard time with really transitioning to doing more video. And, you know, part of it is because they don't have the right equipment day, right? Like they just don't have, they don't know how to get it set up. They're not quite sure. And it's so easy today with, I just bought the iPhone, you know, 11 pro that has such a great camera and records in 4k. So, you know, I had a video videographer say to me, you don't even really need a great camera anymore. You know, if you've got a great iPhone, because, it's got a great camera, but these are the things that came up in my conversation yesterday. They don't know what to say. When the video camera goes on them, they kind of go, they go cold. They don't know what to say. Um, they don't like the way they look. Um, my client said that he's getting, he's aging and he doesn't like the way he looks. I understand that only too well. Um, they kind of freeze the minute that they hit record. They, you know, they had something they were gonna say and then it just doesn't come out. And we've all had that experience. They don't know what equipment to use. They don't have the time to learn new technologies. Um, they really don't know how to use video. They really don't know how to post video. And so that stands in a lot of people's way, but the reality is it's kind of like, you just gotta do it, you know, do a one minute video that, you know, so, I mean, what I do is my assistant holds my camera or we put it on a tripod and she goes three, two, one. And I do a one minute, 90 second video. Instagram has got to be a minute, but we do like a short little video on a particular topic. And then, you know, she does the little edit on the front end and we pop it onto Facebook. It's not that hard and get it onto LinkedIn. And if it's less than a minute, get it onto Instagram. So it's such a great way to build presence. We're going to talk a little bit more here about how you can really do that in a meaningful way. 
I did a free webinar this spring after COVID hit. I did a series of three free webinars for the mortgage industry just to give back because people were just so concerned about what to do next. And Alexa Fisher has been a trainer that um, I've utilized. She's become a great friend. But she did a call with me to the mortgage industry on how to really create impactful videos. You can go to alexafisher.com and check her out. She's incredible. But take a picture of this. This is such a simple way to do an impactful video. She talks about the prep method. So really, you just wanted what is most clear and what's the most clear and concise way you can tell them what you want. So maybe you want to talk to first time home buyers. You know, the reason, why do you want to share this with them? What is important about the message that you want to share? Um, show them an example. You know, what's the most vivid example that you can share to support your suggestion? Maybe you closed a deal for a first time home buyer that had no idea they could even buy a home. Those are, you know, you all have incredible stories. Every loan you're closing has a story and some of these are really impactful. So some of you are taking clients that had no idea they could buy a home maybe their credit was destroyed and you helped them turn it around. You should be sharing those in short videos. And then the wrap up is just reiterate the point, come back to the point. So if you use this very simple prep method, we did it real time with Alexa Fisher at my house during a retreat last year. It was really cool. Everybody came up with a topic, put together their little script and recorded a video with the prep method. And it was super simple. So Sometimes I think if you have a methodology that's really easy, you might, you know, you might actually try it. So I'm gonna encourage you to just try this really simple, simple strategy, uh, the prep method to create your next really impactful video. And this is another thing. Now, I really want you to take a picture of this slide because you have no idea the stories that I'm hearing and even some of the things that I've done personally. So we're gonna talk about some impactful ways to use videos to connect. And even though you already know this, and I know many of you are probably doing it, but I know many of you are not. So, you know, video introduction for new leads, such a great thing. You can record one video, not a personalized video. You can do your personalization in the text message, but do one video that just says, hi, I'm just so thrilled to have the opportunity to support you know, your dream of home ownership, whatever you want it to say, but just a really short little one minute video so that people get a feel for who you are, your energy. And when you get that new lead, if it's coming in through email or whatever, but pop a, a quick video um, to just welcome them and tell them that the team is gonna be calling them that day or whatever your process is, but using a quick, simple little video, you can hold up your phone and do it yourself and you can have one video that you use for every lead. So they're really kind of seeing and feeling you right out of the gate. The listing agent introduction video. So one of my clients, Vicki Newman, is killing it with this strategy. It's one of my favorite strategies. And this was long before COVID hit. You know, when you do a prequal or a pre-approval and you send the pre-approval letter over to the buyer's agent, and then, you know, most people, and certainly I did in my entire career, and most of the top originators I coach, they always put a call into the listing agents, that extra kind of connection to really sell, you know, how great the buyers are, because we know it's a very tough market out there. But the reality is, Vicki just does a quick little video. She goes, I don't even care if I just left the gym, and I look terrible. She just holds up her phone. She does an introduction video to the listing agent. Let's a listing agent, she just sent over a pre-approval letter or a pre-qual letter for Bob and Mary Smith, and they've got amazing FICO scores, they're good to go, they're absolutely golden, and she hopes to have the opportunity to work with them through this transaction if they have any questions to call her immediately, and she pops a personal little one minute video to the listing agent. She is securing so many more transactions for her buyers and her clients because she's taking that extra step. And she's gotten a lot of play from listing agents from that one extra thing. Huge, huge, huge. Doing number three, mortgage status milestone videos. I've got clients that do this. They record one milestone video for each of the individual milestones. You know, congratulations, you know, your appraisal has been ordered. Your appraisals come in at value. Congratulations, your loan's approved. Your loan's been submitted to underwriting. You're, you know, we've ordered your documents. You can do simple little short snippet milestone videos that you can just text to your clients or better yet, have your assistant text it to your clients. 
from you at each of the mortgage milestones. Such a simple thing to do, but very few people are doing it. Dave, you and I were talking about like TCA mortgage coach videos. So I was telling Dave this morning, because I had a conversation with two people that I'm coaching in the last couple of weeks. And honestly, they had not been using mortgage coach. One just wasn't a technology person and didn't want to take the time to learn how. But the cool thing is Dave did a training for my mortgage mastermind elite group, which was awesome. And they just decided that they were going to teach themselves how to use it. And now, you know, Teresa Sundance said she's doing them in three minutes flat now. And she's doing them on 100% of her clients. And she said the level of commitment she's getting from people is just off the chart. Dan White in Phoenix, same thing, off the chart. 100% of his clients now get a total cost analysis with a video and he's killing it, like absolutely killing it. But they both were just hats off to you, Dave. They were absolutely like, I cannot believe I didn't adopt this sooner. So real-time stories in the last couple of weeks I had to share because I was very excited. <laughs> Thank you, Cindy. We love that story. And once you finish, don't leave this slide. I have a few thoughts to share at the end that loved that training with your team. And it's amazing how many of them are to use Mortgage Coach. And anytime I can help some of your other loan officers who don't um, start using it, let me know. Yeah. And like the thing is, people are really afraid of it. But once you get everything set up, they're just knocking them out in like record speed. And it's such a game changer in terms of the presentation and the comfort level and the ability to show them real time how if they make an additional payment or increase their monthly payment, how quickly they can. I mean, it's so great for this refinance market. It's just ridiculous. So um, yes, if anyone is watching who is not a mortgage coach member, that, that should be a non-negotiable. Um, an intro video for potential new referral partners. It's such a, great, such a great simple thing to come up with a list of 10 potential new referral partners and do a personalized quick little video just introducing yourself. You can write out a simple little script of what you want to say, record that 10 times, and just send them a video with a quick message saying, you know what, I've been following you for a while. I decided it was time for me to reach out to say hello. I would love to connect and just have a quick online coffee appointment to learn more about you and your business. It can be that simple. But I'm telling you, I did this at the beginning of the year, and I sent five and I had three responses within 15 minutes saying, let's do it. I mean, it was like the easiest thing ever. So anyway, I'll let you jump in here, Dave, but it's just, it's really a simple thing. I'd love to have you start to try to utilize the video more in these capacities. Well, I just want to put a little more, uh, I guess, training around the mortgage coach videos, guys. So a couple of the most tactical ones in today's market, and I'm going to share my screen for a second, Cindy, let you catch up on your notes there. I, I recently did an interview with Amber Kovarik, and she shared two strategies that I think are super on point. Now, the first video I'm going to show you, this is right on point with what Cindy said. You know, like she's putting a video on it. She talks like, hey, I'm a mother of two kids. She closed 45 loans last month. She's killing it. But she's like, I do the refi TCA at, at night after my kids go to bed, and I put a video on it. And these videos, this one was like a minute and 24 seconds. And she sends it to the client and she wakes up in the morning and they're like, I want option A. So, so that is what Cindy's talking about right there. Whether it's a refi, whether it's a purchase, when you put a video on it, you improve conversion, you improve connection. And what this whole thing is about building relationships in a virtual world. So, so guys, this is what we call going beyond the transaction. Everybody who's doing refis is saying, hey, here's your rate, here's your monthly payment. But what mortgage coaches are doing is, what's the power of that savings? What if you prepaid that mortgage? How much faster could you pay it off? So that's, that was the idea that Cindy put there in number four. But guys, I want to show you another idea. Uh, and this is, this is huge. Amber shared it. It's in our YouTube channel. So she's asking every single client who she does a refi with, how's that house working out for you? And 20% of them are saying, I might want a bigger house. So guys, here's two different videos. There's the TCA video. And then one of the things I'm seeing a lot of people in the mortgage coach community do is they're doing a video with their realtor, like a Facebook live, or they're creating a little three minute, five minute version of this where they tell their whole database. And here's, here's the big idea guys. So it's called the refi versus move up analysis. 
So just breaking that down, this is a family that could have refied and saved $322 a month, but the family said, hey, what would it be like to get an extra bedroom in a new school district? And that would have taken them from a $436,000 home to a $525,000 home. And their payment would have gone up $507. They qualified with 5% down. Payment would have gone up a little bit. And she said, or what if you buy the house, non-contingent, 5% down, sell your other home, and then recast your mortgage. Take that $125,000 in equity and recast it. Their payment would have gone down. But guys, here's an incredible story. What if you took that one twenty-five dollars and you invested it with your financial planner? And guys, this is where you're crushing it. These are, this is, you need to create videos like this where a family came to you, hey, should I refi and save a few hundred dollars? Or should I move up? And in this particular case, it would be a great story on social media. The family came to me, my advice helped them put more money in the bank. My advice helped them build wealth with real estate. My advice helped them get their dream home. And then here's the beauty of this story. It also created a listing for an agent and a move up buyer. So I just want to add another story or another video, create these stories, call them um, mortgage coach advice story videos. So anyways, I wanted to share that idea. What do you think of that, Cindy? I, it's amazing. I mean, it really is incredible what can be done. And, and, you know, earlier this year, I sent out an email to my past client database just saying, you know, and this was after COVID had hit and we'd been under lockdown for like six weeks. I'm like, I just want to know if you're happy in your current home. If not, we need to have a conversation. And that's all the email said. We had like 57 responses to that email because, you know, there was an article recently that said America's on the move, right? So there's so many people not happy. And now we're looking at it going, okay, I don't want to be in this place, you know, if we have to go through this or continue to go through this or go through this again. So there's so much opportunity, not just to refinance for rate, but like to your point, to be able to call the realtor and say, hey, I just called your past client and hey, you may not be aware of this, but they're not all that happy in their current house. And I think we need to have a conversation. Huge win for everybody. Huge win. Could you say that email one more time? Because I want to be able to write this down. Everybody in the mortgage coach community should send out an email to their past customer database. And it says what, Cindy? All it said is, are you happy in your current home? If not, we need to have a conversation. And I literally in the subject line went, are you happy in your house? It's question mark. That's all I put. And so we got really high open rate on that. But I mean, it was like a one line email, you know, it's just, hey, you know, I just want to check in with you to see how you're doing. I did say with your home and your mortgage, but I do want to know, are you really happy in your home? If not, let's have a conversation. That's all it said. Boom, guys, that, that's what's important about that is it's not only loans, it's not only value, it's not only relationship with keeping in touch, it's taking this market and making it valuable for your agents because those things are massive gold for your agents. So I, I love that, Cindy. All right, let's keep it rocking. You might want to share your desktop again. And remember guys, if you have questions for Cindy, put, put them down below. She, I, I, I got a text from someone like, Dave, how do I connect and learn more from Cindy? So Cindy, I don't know if you want to wait till the end or if you want to tell people now, how can they learn more from you and connect with you? Thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. A couple of different ways. Um, at the end, I will kind of share just very, very briefly, but I'm super excited. I must admit, I'm launching a new um, group coaching program called Millionaire Mortgage Club. We're going to launch that October 20th. Um, as you know, I do my high level program, my um, Mortgage Mastermind Elite Group. We've got that just started. So that is filled. But I just saw such a need for a much less expensive coaching opportunity. I wanted to be able to coach people live and kind of more the one to many. I love the interaction. I love being on Zoom and training. So I'm going to be leading the calls live on Zoom. Um, we got a bunch of people signed up. We're doing a founding member special for 347 a month. And you will never, ever have that price raised on you, even though we are going to raise it twice between now and the beginning of the year. But we're going to bring so much value. I'm super excited. We're going to have an awesome membership portal an awesome vault with all kinds of content. Dave, you'll definitely be hearing from me because we need to get you on that call, but I'm really excited about the ability to support new originators. So you can go to millionairemortgageclub.com 
or you can go to cindyertman.com, which is my website. There are some free resources on cindyertman.com as well under the resource section. But I'm super excited and I hope to get some of the Mortgage Coach community because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's super inexpensive and I'm committed to bring amazing leaders and values and experts as well as doing a lot of the training myself as well. So I'm super excited about that. Love, love, love it. So guys, we will share links if you're watching this in Facebook. There'll be a link in comments. If you're watching this in YouTube, there'll be a link in show notes. So every video we do in the description below, we have any links that are mentioned during the call. So we'll have all those things and any downloads that Cindy has. We'll put them in the file section of our Facebook group. Okay, so let's see here if it will, if it will let me download. Here we go. Okay, so I want to talk to you a little bit about creating a virtual referral partner mastermind. Now, I know to some, they think, I just don't have time to do that. But I want you to realize is it really doesn't take that much time. And, you know, one of my clients right now is doing it weekly. But I think if you were to do it monthly, you'd find it's really valuable. It's great high level engagement. I'm going to give you a handout. I'm, I'm going to give this to Dave to be able to get to you on, we're going to give you the referral partner playbook on really how to lead this mastermind step by step. So you don't have to figure it out on your own. So let's talk a little bit about this. So it really is, you know, being a go giver instead of a go getter. It's focusing on adding value and practicing generosity. People really are seeking that connection. They need and want your expertise. So, I mean, you could do a mastermind as a lunch and learn. You know, it doesn't have to be something that you do on an ongoing basis. You could do it just once. You could get together with a realtor. The funny thing is we did it a year ago with the realtor before, you know, before we even had to. We did a, a Zoom uh, first-time homebuyer meeting that we pushed out through Facebook ads to the local first-time homebuyer community and focused on high-end rentals. But um, lunch and learns are great. And in this handout that I'm going to give you, it gives you all kinds of ideas of things to actually, you know, topics that you can speak to in the mastermind group, because that's what holds everybody back. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to talk about. Like we give you like a whole bunch of things that you could actually focus on. So one, you know, you really want to create your tribe. You want to, you know, select a video conferencing platform. I know you all have them by this point, but you know, if not, jump onto Zoom. I've had Zoom for the last five years and it's been my platform of choice for sure. Determine the day and time for the training call because I think it's important to have a consistent pattern if you're gonna do them ongoing. And then just build a really simple bulleted agenda. I always have my notes in tow and my agenda in tow. So, you know, it doesn't make it so scary or frightening if you've got a kind of a roadmap to what you want to talk about. Obviously, we want to focus on engagement. So it's not all about you talking at people. It's like trying to create, create some engagement with your potential referral partners. And then um, video call each person and you know log the sign up so you can kind of track who's on the call. And email reminders one day before and one hour before. I mean, I have learned that, Dave, you do that. It's very, very helpful to give people reminders because everybody gets busy, but you want to be able to get people to show up and then begin to share that. You know, it's so easy to post on Facebook. Hey, I've launched this Realtor Mastermind group. If you have any interest in joining, let me know. But I know Stacia started this and right at the beginning of COVID, she was like, we got on the phone together. She's one of my coaching clients. We brainstorm ideas of what we could talk about in the Mastermind group. And she launched right out of the gate and started having people. And she invited 10 new people that she'd never worked with. And she got, I think, I was on her first call and I think she had like 20 people on the very first call she did. 10 of them were not people she had a relationship with. And then she started getting calls from people over time asking if they could participate. So I thought that was very cool. Guys, this is the second time in a week I've heard this strategy called out. I interviewed Chris Hallow uh, or Chris Hallows yesterday, not yesterday, last week. It's in the YouTube channel. I think it was actually released yesterday. Uh, and he said he's been doing this. So one, I need to interview Stacia again. Uh, Stacia is an amazing mortgage professional in the Seattle market, kills it with mortgage coach. One of the most detailed and intentional loan officers I've ever interviewed. And, and here's the deal guys, if she's killing it, if she has time to do realtor masterminds, you have time to do realtor masterminds. Cause, cause 
there's, there's, there's like a ripple effect of value. Not only are you putting yourself in an authority position because you're hosting this event with these agents and you're getting all of the trust, all of the value that comes from that event itself, but you know what else you get? You get better, you get smarter. The preparation to get in that room, the value you get from being in that virtual room. Uh, I just, I can't emphasize enough. I think modern mortgage professionals do masterminds, virtual masterminds with real estate agents. And it's, I, I just think it's a non-negotiable. I, I literally, and I, I, I guess that's easy for me to say. I know some of you, especially coming into this last month where we have these price adjustments with refis. So maybe you put it off till October and it's not a September priority, but I, I just urge you guys, I think you should be doing realtor masterminds. I hope in the month of October, many of you are connecting with your agents and you're doing these events. And Cindy, I'd love this. And thank you for this cool little checklist. Well, you know, and the other thing too, Dave, if you're doing it in October, because when I used to do my marketing calendar, we would do a, a 12 month marketing calendar. So if I was putting that in for a month from now, you know, the only thing you do need to do now is you need to get your topic now and you need to get the email prepared to go out and you need to get your list because you got to invite them now to get it on the calendar. So I would suggest even if you don't host it, you don't have to have all the content, but come up with just and once you get my handout, you'll have so many ideas, just pick one. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. We'll give you a lot of different ideas. You can go, that one sounds good. And I'm gonna share this next strategy because I will tell you, this is so, a lot of time out, Cindy, so we are gonna get a handout and it's, we're gonna call it like Cindy Ertman's Realtor Mastermind Checklist. Is that what it is? It's a Realtor Referral Partner Playbook, but it's how to lead a mastermind group. In fact, it is actually called, I have it right here in front of me, how to lead a powerful virtual mastermind group for referral partners. This is what you're going to get. Okay. And, it, and you're going to give us like a PDF of that that we can put in the group. We're going to give, it a, give you a PDF. Tell okay. you exactly how so, to do it. So here's, here's how you guys need to find it. Because you're watching this video a month from now. It seems like Sidney Ertman videos get watched for years to come. It's going to be in the file section of our Facebook group. We will label it accordingly. Probably just do a search in our Facebook group for Cindy Ertman or Realtor Mastermind. And it's in, it's in the file section of our Facebook group. And then if you're watching it in the video, we will also have a link in the show notes below. So that is super sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Because I want to make it easy. Because if it's easy, you might actually do it, which is, <laughs> which is the whole point. So I want you to take a picture of this slide. Now I have a whole training around this that I lead, but I decided to condense it for the sake of this call day because this is the easiest call to have with your current realtor partners and with any new realtor partner. And I had a call a week ago with a potential new realtor partner. And it's just hands down, every time I lead the meeting, they want to know when we're going to get together again. Because this conversation, so I lead, I love to lead a meeting around I'd love to have a brainstorming session with you to talk about what you're doing to build and grow your business through marketing. So let's hop on Zoom for 15 minutes. I'd love to learn more about you and your business, but I'd love to learn more about how you're marketing your business. So I've got some questions I'd like to throw out and let's brainstorm some ideas for how you could build and grow your business over the coming year. That's kind of like my first meeting that I do. Actually, I have a Another thing that I do, if it's the very first meeting, just like to try to get them connected, but this is usually my second meeting. But this is so fun and it's so easy and you don't have to be a marketing expert at all. So all you're gonna do is, you know, just use that little script to get them on the phone, get them committed to a short meeting. You can do this in 30 minutes and then just talk to them about, just ask these questions. You know, what are you doing to market your business currently? What are you doing right now to market your business? Because a lot of realtors don't know what to do either, by the way. They're really challenged with what's going on in this market, obviously. And then ask what's working for them currently and maybe what they're doing that's not working. You know, the other thing is, are there other ways you want to market your business that maybe you haven't yet implemented? All I'm doing with these questions is being the facilitator of questions to open up a conversation. Like I said, you don't have to be the expert. And then ask them if they use a CRM or a database management system to communicate with their past clients. 
You know, do they use social media to market their business? And if so, what platforms are they using? Are they using video to market their business or new listings? You know, if not, like I got a name of a videographer locally from another realtor last week at a, I met her for a glass of wine. She gave me the name of her videographer for realtors who's just, he's amazing. And I reached out to him because that'll be a resource for me to refer to other realtors. So, and then, you know, where are most of your leads generated from? You know, where do you get your leads from? Do you ask your clients for referrals and testimonials? Realtors are really bad at that. You know, a lot of realtors don't even have a portal on their website where you can actually leave a, you know, testimonial. And how do you establish clear goals of how you want to build and grow your business? Become their partner in discussing ways that they can build and grow their business. You can share things you're doing to build and grow yours. And given the current state, what are your biggest challenges in marketing your business today? Or maybe just what are the biggest challenges in your business in general? Just be the facilitator of quality questions and it'll just be, it'll take on an organic conversation. I am telling you, the minute I finished this meeting um, last week, the first thing out of her mouth is, oh my gosh, when are we gonna do this again? You know, it's incredible. I mean, it's it, because they need the information. They want the information. They love to brainstorm. It's a great way to build connection. And like, seriously, I had a conversation like this about six months ago with a new realtor. I asked the CM or database management system question. They actually did not have a system they were using. And so I went back, you know, it was a live meeting. And then I went back to my office. I Googled best CRMs and database management systems for realtors, did some research on the reviews, sent them three links and said, these are the three that I would recommend. I suggest that you, you know, invest in one of them. Um, I would do it today. I wouldn't second guess it. Like how long did that take me? But it's creating value. So just really wanted to share this because this strategy like gains engagement a hundred percent of the time. So Cindy, I want to ask a quick question. There, there was a post in our Facebook group by a brand new loan officer. You could tell this guy had a great attitude. He just wants to get after it. Um, who could I call? Who should I call? And I, you know, like call your sphere of influence. And he's like, I did that in a day. And then people were like, don't do cold calls, only do warm calls. And you know, there was just this, what do I do? And then, and then here's the deal. I mean, the, the top 1% in the mortgage business, the mortgage elite that have teams, they're, they're exploding. You know, they're, they're exploding. There are 4,100 loan officers in America that are doing over 300 loans a year. That's crazy. I got that data from my mind and, uh, and uh, mortgage market intelligence. But here's the deal. There's still tens of thousands, over 70,000 loan officers that are not still doing three loans a month. So, so with that said, Cindy, what are, what are some ideas that like, let's just say you're not exploding with business and you just want to prospect for four hours a day. What are some ideas? Well, you know, it's funny. It sounds so silly, but I've done this so many times. Like just, you know, I, when I used to go to my, you know, mortgage office, which was a mile from my house, every time I drive home, I would pay attention to, did any new signs go up, you know? And so I would just... I don't know why I got in a habit of doing this over the year. I would just pull over to the side of the road on my way home and take a picture of the sign. And then how easy is it to either text them or call them and just say, Hey, you know, Bob, this is Cindy Erdman, RPM mortgage. I just want to reach out to you. I was driving, driving home tonight and I saw the sign that you have. And I just wanted to have a quick conversation with you because I'm doing like five prequels a day right now for people that are looking for new homes. And I'd love to just learn a little bit about the property you could give me a call because I love the location that this house is located in. I'd like to know what the price point is and let me know a little bit about it because I'd love to be able to integrate that into conversations regarding, you know, that I'm having with all these buyers. Well, do you think a realtor is not going to call me back if I say I'm pre-calling five people a day or three people a day or whatever you're doing? Of course, they're going to call you back. It's a great, easy way to connect with a complete and utter stranger who's calling you back and telling you all about the house. So that would be one strategy for so someone. What First of all, that's an awesome strategy. If you're brand new to the business, just say for buyers that I prequal. You don't need to lie. You could just say, I prequal people. So huge idea. And then also remember guys, you can put a video on it. You can take that same strategy and text them a video. You know, so for you new people out there that you just want to get after it, text them, text video them, call them. What's your next one? 
Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share next. So I'm going to go over this slide because I'm going to get to the next one because it'll give them another strategy. That's okay. one of my favorites. And I'm gonna, this is another one I'm going to give you as a handout, Dave, so they'll have exactly what to do. And it works for somebody that doesn't have a big sphere as well. So this is just another idea for, you know, to do a virtual happy hour. I did this with a bunch of my coaching clients a couple of months ago. We had everybody bring their favorite cocktail or mocktail to the thing. And it was fun. And we just, I had a couple of questions that were kind of icebreakers and topics. I had everybody share, everybody off mic, and it was really fun. So it's another thing you could do is to have a virtual happy hour and just, you know, have a really organic conversation. You can ask two questions and have everybody answer the questions. Very simple. So <clears throat> this is another strategy to answer that loan officer's question. And you can use this. It's great if you have trusted referral partners already. If not, you can call people in your sphere of influence because this works both ways. So first of all, as we know, everybody knows a realtor, right? Everybody, you know, your accountant knows a realtor, your doctor knows a realtor, your dentist knows a realtor, family, friends know realtors. So, you know, it's a matter of just calling people. So the way that I use this strategy personally, and I've, I personally have used this strategy, I don't know, 30 times. I mean, I use it so many, now I just say it automatically. Basically what I want you to do, and if you don't know realtors, call somebody and ask them what realtors they recommend. But you wanna call five realtors or a potential referral partner or a business person in your sphere um, that you appreciate and value. So for me, I called five realtors when I first came up with a strategy. And I just, I'm gonna share the script that I use. So basically, this is what, now I know this is a long script, but you're gonna get this in a handout. So you don't really have to take a picture of this because you're gonna get it for real. But let me just read through this really quick because I know I'm wrong, wrong instead of time. Hi, Bob, this is Cindy Urban. I wanted to reach out to you because we value you greatly as our trusted referral partner and appreciate our relationship with you more than you know. Our team is looking to expand our realtor referral business this year. So even though the refinance market has been strong year to date, we pride ourselves in helping our clients secure their dream of homeownership would like to serve more buyers this year. We value our relationship with you and wondered if you could recommend a couple of quality realtors who could benefit from the same kind of service that you've experienced in working with our team. We are not looking for quantity, we are looking for quality. We would greatly appreciate if you could help us by recommending a couple of realtors that might benefit from our service. So again, if you're a newer realtor, call somebody in your business sphere, somebody that you know, call a friend, Call anybody that you have utilized their service and then just say, hey, look, I'm looking to build and grow my purchase business over the course of the next year. Who do you know that might be a great realtor for me to reach out to? And just everybody knows a realtor, you know, and just get a couple of suggestions. So it doesn't have to be hard or scary. Um, I, I have so many stories about using this strategy. It's actually ridiculous. Now, the only key is once they give you a couple of names, you actually need to call the people they give you. That's where this breaks down. Like if you don't call the people, then the strategy doesn't work, right? But the very, very first time I used this strategy, I called a woman at Sotheby's that was kind of new, only three years into the business, but she had just switched companies and I was kind of helping mentor her a little bit. And she said, well, you know, I'm sitting in a pod now with three other realtors and they're incredible. She'll Sarah just closed three deals this week. I think she'd be a great person for you to reach out to. So <clears throat> I write down their names. I ask her if she'd mind sharing their contact info. She said, no problem. She did. 10 minutes later, Tara called me back and said, you know what? Why don't you just schedule a lunch and I'll come too. And that way I'll encourage them to all go. This is the first time I use the strategy. So the cool thing is you know, my mortgage partner is doing a loan for Sarah right now today. And this was about, I don't know, three or four years ago now. But that Sarah's relationship came from the strategy. And she's still working with us today. So this thing works like a charm. And then basically the next strip, strip is, hi, Lynn, this is Cindy Ertman. I just got off the phone with Bob Smith. Bob has been a valued referral partner of ours for many years. And I've shared with Bob that we are looking to expand our realtor partners this year since our passion is helping buyers secure their dream of home ownership. I asked Bob who he trusts and values doing business with and who might benefit from the service we provide. He gave me your name as someone who he deeply respects, trusts, and value. 
His recommendation holds a lot of weight with our team, so I wanted to reach out to you personally to see if you could connect for a virtual coffee appointment in the next week so I could learn more about you and your business. Just about the connection. So lastly, I just, this is another thing. It's just, you know, I know it's difficult right now. Believe me, I have been in the shoes as a top originator. It is difficult, but I'm telling you, it is a non-negotiable. And the reason I got to 200 million of personal production is because every day of my career, even during the biggest refi boom, you know, in history up until now, I spent 30 to 60 minutes a day focused on purchase business never faltered. That was in my daily plan. It was in my schedule. My team knew it. And I don't care if I had time to make five daily calls, but you know, it's easier now with text. You can do one text and send it to 10 people in five minutes. It's just so easy to communicate. So whether you're doing five daily calls and some of my clients are actually doing this, you know, one day they do five daily calls, they're doing five daily emails, then they're doing five daily texts. And then one day, you know, Friday, they're doing five thank you notes. It doesn't have to be hard, but if you aren't working on your business 30 minutes a day, you can never get to that complete next level. And we work really closely with people, obviously, to be able to help them build teams to do that. But it really is about being intentional on building relationship. And with what's, you know, what's ahead, I really want you to get back to that commitment of committing 30 minutes a day to work on your business, not just in it. So, so Cindy, let's make sure we close strong with how people can connect with you. You're an amazing mentor, amazing coach. You've got a great platform. So for anyone that's in the mortgage coach community that wants to uh, go to the next level with Cindy Ertman, uh, how do they do that? Thanks, Dave. It's always so fun to be with you. Um, Millionaire Mortgage Club is a new platform. You can go to millionairemortgageclub.com. This is kind of what, in a nutshell, it's gonna be two live Zoom group training calls per month. I will be leading those calls. And we've obviously will have some great special guests that we already have committed to be on some of our initial calls. You're gonna have access to a private vault with, um, and, and this is for a, this, we are launching, we're doing a pre-launch right now for founding members. So that's gonna be kind of the cool part. We are discounting it to 347 a month. You will lock in that price for as long as you're in the program. We will never raise the price and we are raising the price in the next two months. So I just want you to know you're going to get three special gifts. Um, you're going to have a vault to all kinds of training information that we've already prepared. And then these will all be recorded calls. So if you miss a call, you can go into the portal. You'll have audio and you'll have video that you will have access to um, for you know, the length that you're in the program. There's going to be networking and support, uh, a big, you know, robust private Facebook group for interaction with mastermind and your peers. We'll be doing some happy hours just to get to know people on a more intimate level. And then, like I said, this is what I'm very excited about on the founding member because you're going to get special perks. I'm going to be reaching out to you personally to help me create more value for this group. So the founding members are going to be really special to me because you're helping me launch this thing. So we're only taking 50 in the founding member club. Um, I think we've got 20 signed up so far. So we've got a few spots left, but I would love to engage some of the mortgage coach community in this because obviously you will be participating in this day with that question. But again, it's just going to be fun. I'm really excited to bring a lot of value to people at a price point that is extremely affordable. So millionairemortgageclub.com will give you more information. would love to have some of you sign up. Love it. Well, I'm looking forward to... Uh real happy hours someday in the real world. Uh, yeah. Happy hours in the meantime. Uh, I, I, mortgage coach community, I can't recommend Cindy Ertman enough. She's an amazing leader, uh, a good personal friend. I'm bummed, Cindy, that we're not going to see each other in person tomorrow. Sales master. I know. Like, What's wrong with that picture, Dave? I know. Like <laughs> every year for, I don't know, 28 years. Plus years, in yeah. In person. Um, but, uh, we will be checking it out, Mortgage Coach Community. Hope you guys are tuning in to Sales Mastery. Uh, we might even do some type of last minute virtual happy hour tomorrow. Todd Bookspan and I, we've always done a, a pre-event um, down by the pool where we host a, a happy hour. We can't do that tomorrow, but we might throw something live in this group. That'd be fun. That'd be great. Maybe, maybe I just called it out. We'll, 
If you want us to do a virtual happy hour tomorrow in the mortgage coach community to kick off sales mastery, let us know down below. The link to get hooked up with Cindy will be in comments below. It sounds like she's going to give us some PDFs and documents, which guys, speakers don't usually do. Usually it would have been, here's a link. And if you want to get this playbook and this link, you've got to go here and buy this, do this. Cindy just comes like, oh yeah, here's a checklist, put it in the group, huge value. So guys, give a big virtual hand for Cindy Ertman. I, I would be giving you a standing ovation, Cindy, if uh, it was in the room, oh, I'm already standing. You're already standing, Dave. Thanks so much for having me. It's always such a pleasure to be here and it's just really an honor. Thanks, Dave, you're awesome. Thank you guys. So if you got value from this, give it a like, give us some social media engagement. If you're a manager, this is something worth sitting down and sharing with your team. I mean, so many nuggets of just, I mean, literally every five minute, there was an idea that would help you add value to a realtor, an idea that would help you make, be more efficient, be more effective, and be more successful. This call is a wrap. Take care, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye.